Hey guys, crew blonde wave back. I'm Aaron. Eric. And we are back with another episode of Chuck. Last time on Chuck, we had a doctor's appointment. Yes, or we did. Several of them. <laughs> we did. We had several doctor's appointments, and awesome as awesome as he is, can and only handle so much. <laughs> yes. Um meanwhile, Chuck was also dealing with his own doctor's appointment. Yep. Um where they were attempting to lobotomize him and or gather any intersect that was left in his brain. Mm-hmm. Which... But they failed. And... I think yeah, they failed, yeah. You think they failed? They seem to yeah, capture... They, at, at least no information went out. Mm-hmm. We don't know... Like, as of right now, Chuck still has no intersect. They, they don't know what else they can do, so they're looking at options for keeping him as a spy without the intersect. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, there was also an awesome fight and a roll-up carpet. That, which was the best part of the show. It really was pretty great. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm excited to see what gadget comes next. Yes. Um, also, stuff about Chuck and Sarah and everybody else, too. Well, and then we ended with Ellie knowing the password to the knock-knock joke mm-hmm. and going, whoa. I'm here. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> what do you think? Yeah, what was it? I have to find out. Let's start right now. Boom! Make certain he's really dead this time. <laughs> Uh oh. Aaron, have I told you about the weird blurring on her face yet? Um, you mentioned it before. I I, I kept trying to watch, it and I just yeah. I, I was like, "Is there there? I don't understand. I don't see anything." Yeah, it's still there. Whoa. Morgan, what sort of hand-to-hand combat okay. class did you sign us up for? <sighs> Strip kick. Yeah, it makes Strip kick. Defense of Krav Maga with the intense core workout of pole dancing. I saw an infomercial on it. <laughs> Besides, tonight is our annual leftover dinner, just as delicious as Thanksgiving without mm. all the big event stress. Like Ross and his Thanksgiving sandwich. Uh-oh. 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 Remember, oh, they got three. Ross also killed at close range. And uh, speaking of looking forward to the future. Ooh. Chuck, get down! Oh. Oh. <laughs> strip kick strip kick mom all is forgiven mom come with me if you want to live oh my god of course <laughs> of course what else do you have her say what else uh, she probably looked at that script and he's like you sons of bitches alright <laughs> oh it's hilarious well, she was gonna be late. Luckily, Sarah was there. Completely sold out of those. Please, I'll do anything. Uh, not that I'm not flattered, Trap. but who has two thumbs and is taken? Boom. This guy. Okay. Happy holidays. Yes, Morgan. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> hey, anything? Now you said you were willing to do anything for it. First. I need you to shave my back. Mm-hmm. I can't reach the middle. Thomas Jefferson Park. Yeah. yeah, it's frustrating. <laughs> we can't afford to let strangers shave your back, Jeffrey. Not now. When we're this close to making our oh, dreams come Oh, look true. at that. That's a. Uh, well, I'm so. I love that so much more. You can't see the needle or anything. Yeah, but it. I, it's in there. Uh, what's going on? You know this is a CI place or what? Man, there's those guys are waiting out there a long time. Ah, Volkov. Oh, look at that looks sub. So it looks great. <laughs> Morgan. This is a diehard situation. He's even in a. What do you mean? This is diehard, isn't it? Look, there's he doesn't have stuff. shoes. What, what, He's what in, did you think of that? He's in a. This is diehard. <laughs> Killed three of my men and captured my best agent. I'm here to get her back. Keep captured, Kami. It's party time. (laughs) Kami? Holy shit! That's a big gun. That's another big gun. This is like Bisk in Spider Man when you had to fight him. (laughs) But I'm not leaving here without you, my love. Mm -hmm. Well, that's a bummer. (laughs) What? My love? What does that mean? Uh, what does that mean? It means that Alexei Volkov is in love with me. 
What else could it mean? I mean, it's Linda Hamilton. <laughs> He's the I'm Terminator. Yep. Really, really mad, but I'm never gonna hurt her. Yeah, you and I both know that, but Volkov doesn't. It might help us to buy more time for Casey. Mm -hmm. Yes, and Morgan. <clears throat> Man, I hope he uses a lighter to light his way. Look at him. <laughs> oh, no. You might need that. With real bullets? Oh my god! <laughs> He's so bad with guns. Oh my god, no way! Oh fuck! Oh no. Alexa, you can't. Why not? You like romance. Because. Charles is my son. Uh... Really? Really? <laughs> He's very skeptical. <laughs> really? Really? <laughs> really? <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Why didn't you tell me? Alexei, you run a multinational criminal organization. There's no room for family. Especially family that works for the CIA. What did you think I was going to do? Sir, this incoming call on the body. Shut up! <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> oh. Any relation, this Ellie Bartowski? Mr. Bartowski? So he knew he wasn't Carmichael? Well, he saw the oh, employee of the month sign. Yeah. Remember? Yeah. Fuck. No. Charles, Chuck. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. Call your sister back. Tell her you're coming to dinner. And you're bringing some guests. Oh. We're going to Thanksgiving. I Eric. mean, that's not the worst outcome, but. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm Devin. Uh, your your son-in-law. Hey. Oh yeah, they haven't met. Nope. Never met. Oh, nice to meet you. I want you to have fun tonight. But if I get the feeling that you're plotting against me, I need this dinner to be perfect. I know how painful it was for your mother when she had to leave you all those years ago. And I know how painful it must have been for you, too. If they didn't have this sinister music brother. in this extreme Dutch angle, These I'd, be close -ups like, stuff. I'd be like, hey, he's doing pretty good. For helping our mom. He's a nice guy. <laughs> I can't imagine what you've done for this family. Oh, Jeff's still got all them stuck. He's getting dirtier and dirtier and sweatier. What are you looking at? Tape. The tape gun. I don't understand. That's cool though, I want that tape. Okay. The buy more tape? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Trades. Movie. Movie. Hardcore, bro. Yeah, yeah, he's something else, isn't he? <laughs> you know what else he is? An international arms dealer and a very, very bad man. We are in terrible danger right now. Don't freak out. Born identity. No. <laughs> oh, so close. Batman forever? Wrong again, Charles. <laughs> this has to go perfect, Chuck. Check. Otherwise, it looks suspicious. I know you're the world's worst liar right now. <laughs> I need you to be awesome. Your only hope. You can do it, awesome. Pew. Oh. <laughs> Cold. Cold. <laughs> what is that? CIA emergency alert activated. Wow, that is surprisingly soothing. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah. Well, if you need us, we'll be right there. What is it? Not There's a bus bad. accident on the 101. Code blue. They need all the hands they can get. Oh, God. Okay, he did well there. I'm so sorry that we have to take off like yeah, this. Yeah, right? It was a wonderful evening. Oh, he's <clears throat> so... I mean, he seems so sweet. I know. If he wasn't just threatening him all before. <laughs> you had to go on a lot the CIA, didn't you? <sighs> oh. Don't move. I didn't really have to do that, but... Really like the sound. <laughs> Alexi, stop. Uh, 
Alexa, you know that I am loyal to you. Okay. But I will not return with you until you promise me that my family and their friends will remain safe. Mm hmm And if they don't, I will end you. <laughs> yeah. Back to Morgan. Roger that, Mr. Volkov. Okay, yeah. Surely they just call these people, that guy. Right? Oh, no. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. You, you remember? <laughs> you idiot. It's too low. Cut. <laughs> hey. You're free to go. What? What? Volkov's orders are out. <clears throat> <laughs> Oh, so close. I know. So, this conversation never took place. Okay. What, what does it mean? I don't want to know. And neither does Ellie. One or eleven. But if you're spying again, maybe we can help you. Evan is just the best, man. He is just so awesome. Well, it's the value of an ace in blackjack, but... Uh -huh. There's something my dad used to say to me. What? Aces, Charles. Oh, yeah, I he used to say that. Press enter, press enter. Don't you end again with this goddamn screen. Press enter, hurry. We're running out of time. Hurry. Huh? Aces, Charles. Ah! Aaron. Ah! Are you going to intersect, ah! Eric? That always happens. Guys, I know Kung Fu. Again. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, the first time they said that, I freaked the fuck out. Oh, Kung Fu! <laughs> All right. Good episode. Right? I love this one, yeah. I like it a lot, too, because of just the, uh, just the Thanksgiving part. Mm -hmm. let, let alone, like, all the other stuff before and the Die Hardy tie-in kind of things. Yeah. And, like, just Volkov... Going over to Thanksgiving, playing charades and <laughs> trying, yeah, to, trying to just be good. You know? Like when it. they first went with the like he's obsessed slash uh, loves the mom, I was thinking like, oh, okay, they're gonna maybe one dimension him off a little bit, I guess, as a villain. But then I, you know, he's just so good that mm -hmm. he makes that good. He yeah. makes it feel deep, you know. <laughs> like I, I thought they were gonna make the character a little more shallow with that development, but. The actor is so goddamn good that it feels like, oh, yeah, mm -hmm. there's elements to this now. <laughs> oh, yeah. So yeah, that I, was good. I love him in the show. He's great. Like, like yeah. you, you first meet him, you're like, oh, man, it's so cool. They have a little, mm -hmm. a little cameo with Timothy Dalton. And then you're like, oh, he's Volkov. What? And then they, yeah. they drop this on you, and you're like, man, he's kind of cool. I like this. And that's the best thing because they've also set up this idea that you have these big stars for one episode. <laughs> and I'm thinking, oh, okay. Well, it's not that big of a deal that this guy is played by such a famous actor. Because hmm, they've done you know, it other times. That's like, the, that's like the thing like when you're watching Law & Order, the most famous actor is the, the one that did it. Yeah. <laughs> you know, is the yeah. bad guy. And Chuck, through these last four seasons, has shrugged that off, and it, it makes it so that that cliche gets me again. Yeah. So. I mean, you, you get like the... You get the... Uh, 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 how do you say his last name? Back, ba baklava... Ba Blackula, Scott, ba Scott ba Bacula. Bacula. Yeah. Yeah. I was trying to remember the last name. Um, I think it's Bacula. You get, you get him you get Linda mm -hmm. Hamilton. You're like, oh, okay. These are the parents and stuff. It makes sense yeah. to have them. But then the, just the regular, you know, Robert England, you know, just yeah. showing up. Like, oh man, we get something here. And then you get, oh, look, a mm -hmm. Timothy Dalton character. Sure. And then you twist it to like, oh, it's something maybe a little more than what we thought it was going to be. Mm -hmm. And he's just, his, his. I don't know. Just the, whenever like the guy walks over, and he's like, "Hey, there's a phone call." He's like, "I don't care," you know. Like you just you feel <laughs> yeah, so intimidating, great. but then he also yeah. seems so suave. And then he's, it's it's that cool. moment reminded me of the first Thor movie. Whenever Loki's like, "Father, please," and no! Odin's like, "No." <laughs> uh, so, uh, so the uh, you didn't remember the tape thing then? The what thing? The tape. Whenever he was like, oh, "Tape," was he gonna do tape? Oh no, I remembered it. Yeah. Okay. Um. I, well, I should say I remember it as soon as he walked out. I'm like, oh, that's what the tape was for. Yeah, when well, you didn't recognize the it, the tape. When you didn't recognize, it, I didn't want to say because I'm like, oh, yeah. he doesn't know. It's gonna be great when, yeah. it, when it happens. Well, 
because I, you know, I watched <laughs> Die Hard when I was a kid, and then mm-hmm. I didn't watch it until we recently did a commentary to it. Nah. So it was almost as if I was kind of reacting to Die Hard for the first time. So uh, you guys can actually watch that on the channel right now. There's a Die Hard commentary where I think me and Shane, uh, we had seen it a long time ago, but it was almost like a reaction. Mm-hmm. So you can check that out. You can watch the whole thing to sync your own copy to it. But uh, I did recognize as soon as like you know I didn't recognize it obviously um, when he just was in the little spa bath thing. But yeah. as soon as I'm like oh there's like it's like there's terrorists in here. Yeah. And then I, I looked at him. He didn't have any shoes on. He had the wife beater on. I'm like oh my god they're doing die hard. Yep. <laughs> they walk in. They get into the door and then like all these guys with like carts and yeah. stuff are rolling in like the the terrorists and die hard. Yeah. Or the thieves or yeah. whatever. Um, yeah, that was. But good. no, yeah, I, I I love I love how Chuck will take, you know, they'll take a guy from I don't know, a Born Identity miniseries or mm-hmm. a, 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 they'll spoof like Die Hard or they'll they'll yeah. take these different like action and spy things yeah. and like toss them together. Hell, uh, Big Mike's uh, Big Mike's uh, what, was it? A, it's not a brother; it's his friend, right? Is Big Al? He's like it's his he's, it's his brother, I think. It's the same name, and, yeah. and the same actor. <laughs> That plays yeah. Big Al from Die, Die Hard. Hard. Yeah, so it's just it's great. I and uh, I mean, we, we, me and Shane talked about this too. Linda Hamilton, obviously from Terminator and Terminator Two. Uh, Big Mike's actor was one of the orderlies where she was in Terminator Two in the uh, mm-hmm. health facility. Yeah, we realized actually, that in the commentary yeah. of Terminator. Yeah, so there's a little detail there too, which is nice. Um, so, yeah. yeah, I mean. I love Linda Hamilton. Uh, it's it it's really hard for me not to notice that blurring on her face once again. Um, I don't know why they did it, but they continue to do it. I was kind of hoping that maybe as the season went on, they would do it less or something, but I don't know. I would, like they've they've caked on the makeup on her and they've blurred like her her forehead and her cheeks. Hmm. I remember you had said something about it before when you and Shane were reacting, and mm-hmm. when I was going through catching up to like refresh myself. Every yeah. time they showed her, I'm staring. I'm like, they said something about a blurring, and I'm trying to yeah. pay attention to where it is. I don't know exactly, and I I understand it. Um, like they had a flashback or two showing yeah. her. And I definitely would understand it there too. I guess if they're trying to mm-hmm. like make her seem younger. Yeah. Because I mean, the the technology back then wasn't as good as now. You know. No. No. Um, but I don't fully get it now unless it's more of like trying to get an age matchup thing or something but you mean you don't fully get it as in you don't see it or you don't understand why they're doing it no I, like well number one i don't I, I think i see it and don't see it like there's times i'm like mm-hmm. is it kind of blurry there and then i'm like well i'm not really sure i can't quite tell but yeah. but i what i meant was like i get it for the flashbacks but i don't really get sure. why they would do it for like the, this episode yeah you know i mean i honestly i haven't looked into it other than like I, I typed it in at one point just to see if I was going crazy, and then there's there's whole like you know threads about yeah it's there there's some blurring going on. The only thing I could guess is that whenever they approached her, they you know that's it seems like the idea of like let's have this person play it as opposed to like doing auditions and having actresses come in. I think they approached her, and probably one of her things is like yeah, <laughs> but I mean I'm not as young as I used to be. You know, maybe it's a matter of self consciousness or so- consciousness or something like that. I don't know, but I think it was like I'll do it if you guys do something about the wrinkles on my forehead and cheeks. Is I think is what it is. Hmm. Um, but I mean, I I really appreciate her performance. It's just really hard not to see it. They you know it's less so in the wider shots, but when they do close up shots, especially like in this episode, there's a close up shot of her and an extreme close up shot of Volkov back to back and as you're seeing it cut between it it's just like really really blurry uh you know not like the lines of her face but like the inside of this the skin tone is really blurred and then would go to volkov and there's nothing there so it's just like i don't know it, maybe it's just uh, i've spent a, you know a lot of time like doing visual effects and actually you know feathering is like the cheapest easiest way to sell <coughs> something because you don't want to go into the details so there's a big blur and it's feathered and i can just see the feathering you know Mm -hmm. so i mean that's it's still happening um but it's just one of those things i keep having to bring up just because it 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 distracts me yeah Um, no i understand that yeah but uh 
let's see. We had some great moments with Volkov, though, because I loved that moment when he was like, are they feeding you? Was it good? <laughs> you know, <laughs> where he has these moments of, like, sweetness to him. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And then even though it's, he's faking with Ellie and, and Chuck by trying to be sweet, he is and he isn't. Like, he really cares for her, so he really wants to impress them. Yeah. But there's that also that level of, like, well, does he really... I don't know if he really cares. He cares about making a good impression, but he doesn't care about them really, really, you know? Yeah. So there's, that, is a, there's a level of fakeness, but it also comes across as almost being genuine as well, which is really interesting to play with. See, I feel like he has a little bit more genuine, I guess, conversation with like Ellie and Devin. Yeah. Because yeah. they don't know and he's not exactly. worried about them betraying him. Whereas yeah. he's looking more so at Sarah and Chuck and their CIA and they're gonna try to betray mm -hmm. me and that's where the threat part of it comes from. So Yeah. But no, like I just he goes in and out of so many different like like versions of Volkov that you see, you know, the the mm -hmm. anger, the threats, and then the the caring and the like you said, yeah. the the moment of like, are they feeding you? Like, which that seems like a normal thing, you know? Are you hurt? No, I'm fine. Are they feeding you? Yeah. Yes. Was it good? He's <laughs> like, what? <laughs> so yeah, it, yeah, it's it's a fun character, and it's it's mm -hmm. one of my favorite. It's it's one of my favorite roles of Timothy Dalton, probably. I almost feel like he did so well in the episode. He was doing better than the way it was being directed because, especially in the scene where they're doing like that extreme Dutch angle on him, and they're put, mm -hmm. they put like sinister music. Mm -hmm. But I felt like it didn't really match the sweetness that felt like was coming from him. You know, yeah. It's like they. It's almost as if they were like, he's being too genuine. People might be confused. Throw on sinister music. Yeah. <laughs> well, I, I feel like in that moment, like Alexi is, he's trying to show, I'm great with yeah. kids. You know, let me talk to your daughter. Let's go have a family dinner. And he, yeah. I'll take care of this, you know. Sometimes there's blurred lines and things are confused, mm -hmm. you know. Let me let me calm yeah. her down and put put her at ease. And he, he yeah. does such a good job at it that yeah, maybe it's maybe it was That's a matter I, of being honestly, like, uh, well, I, I kind of feel like you might have had like if you did like a test run with an audience, they might be like, I like him. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I like I like <laughs> so him with they what they show. Like, they have to be like, ah, oh, damn it, what do we do? Ah, uh, put some sinister music under there. Touch this angle. <laughs> All right. Um. Well, what else? Uh, uh, we have the the PC getting passed on over. I, I know you said you remember him saying aces to to yeah, Chuck. aces Charles. Yeah, I had that written down in my Chuck book back at the studio a long, long time ago. Aces Charles. So that was that was cool. A cool callback um, slash maybe them going back and trying to find something. But I didn't think of it one or eleven. That makes perfect sense. Uh, yeah. But as I wrote down the riddle and being like, oh, I'll try to solve that later. But they solved it already. Yeah. Um, yeah, but that makes sense. I, I I guess the thing I'm confused about is when, obviously, you know, Chuck still had the intersect when his dad father died. Mm -hmm. This is like a intersect fix or something that he seeded before he died somehow. So, like, I, I wonder how that came about. So you have before, like, uh, last time we saw him, it was like the watch, and there was the conversation mm -hmm. about how like it's almost overheating the brain. So the watch he made is like yeah, a the fix. governor, yeah, to help mm -hmm. help stop it from like you know going into Alzheimer's or what you know whatever brain yeah. damage and stuff they talked about that could happen. Mm -hmm. um, this here he had that he sent to Ellie is an idea, I, I believe so far of what we've seen is to you know get the brain to be able to handle the information because it works yeah. slightly different than a computer. So okay. Ellie was able to solve more of the biological standpoint rather than the engineering computer standpoint of what the intersect in a mind would do. Yeah, so he sends it to Ellie, one, because it's family, two, because she's a doctor. If something were to ever happen to Chuck, he thinks that while she would probably be close, mm -hmm. this would be a good time or a good spot to be able to insert this kind of like fix if it were to happen, mm -hmm. I guess. Yeah, and even, so. even not, even... Even if nothing happened with like him him losing the intersect or anything, mm -hmm. I think this still would have been helpful to where like the governor isn't a thing that needs to be had. Gotcha. Okay. I, I think is the way that it would go with that. So even if yeah. even if the mom wasn't like, here you go, look at this PSP, mm -hmm. and he just had the intersect. I think going through this method and getting Ellie to solve it, and then once it was solved, yeah. that's why it shut down for a code for Chuck. Yeah. Now only Chuck can open it because once it opens, it's gonna fix his intersect stuff. So I wonder I wonder if this is another opportunity for them to kind of update Chuck's information too, because the longer it goes, the less recent the information downloaded from the intersect is, right? 
Like yeah, he's not sure. going to know stuff about somebody that he flashes on what they did yesterday. He's only going to know up to two years ago when he got the second version of the intersect. You know, so I yeah. wonder if this will serve as another like update too. It's like also uh, there was some kind of connection to the World Wide Web in which he was able to download even more information. That's very possible too. Yeah. So yeah, just updated and then because yeah. I, I think it's a good way of like back in what season three when they were having like the overheating kind of things and yeah. he was messing up against uh, Shaw mm-hmm. and then they had to use the watch to be able to get that to be fixed now there's yeah. a way of like hey what happened with that well he still wears a watch but now maybe now we don't need the watch is what, the gotcha. way I think they're going okay. I, 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 I might be right I don't remember how they go that forward sounds, in the things that that's kind good. of like what yeah. I'm picking up from what I remember going through this yeah. series so far sure um, no that sounds good and that, that makes sense with all that stuff especially I, I kind of forgot about that uh, the father would know about the governor and be keep trying to figure out a way to fix it. So mm-hmm. yeah, because yeah. the last time that when he got caught, that was what he was going back was trying to work mm-hmm. on the governor stuff, especially for Chuck. Yeah. So all right, well, the only thing I'm disappointed about this episode is there was no uh, yippee ki yay, Uncle Glucker. Um, Didn't happen. There was a yippee ki yay when he walked in the door. I think. Did he say yippee ki I didn't hear it. pretty sure we, I think we might have oh talked over God. it. We didn't have subtitles or nothing, so I think we missed it just a tad. So let's see, the phone, let me look here. Ah, yep, he does say it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he does say it. I was wrong. yippee ki and he just starts slapping his back. Ah, ah. So. <laughs> All right, well, yippee ki motherfucker. Oh. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed this, make sure you guys subscribe so you don't miss out on the rest of Chuck as we go forward every week. And uh, make sure you guys check out over at patreon.com slash blindwave. You can see next week's episode right now. And or also join us with full length, which is offered over there. You watch a whole episode along with us as well. So we'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.